The following episode of Delmarva Life is brought to you by the Cape May Lewis Ferry. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryan. I'm Jimmy Hoppe. And I'm Brian Spiros. As you can tell, we are not in our usual historic Studio D. That's because we are coming to you today from the Cape May Lewis Ferry, which is celebrating 50 years of service. That's right, we're on the water crossing the Delaware Bay from Lewis to Cape May, New Jersey. And over the next hour, we're going to give you just a little taste of the fun that you can have in just a few hours on the Cape May Lewis Ferry. There's so much to do on both sides. In Lewis, there's a lot of history and heritage. From Fort Miles State Park to the Zwanendale Museum, you can even go on a haunted tour, not to mention the beaches, the shopping, and the restaurants. And in Cape May, there's fun for the entire family at the Wildwoods or the Cape May County Park and Zoo. You can even take a step back in time at Victorian Cape May. Cape May has plenty of beaches, shopping, and restaurants too. And don't forget the relaxing ride across the bay. So get ready to make some memories that are going to last a lifetime. Del Marble Life starts right now. Just to give you an idea of how the ferry works, it's a 17 mile, 85 minute cruise between New Jersey and Delaware. Each ferry carries 600 passengers and holds 100 cars. Millions of families have been making the trip for five decades now, and as you can imagine, a lot has changed throughout the years. What would the Delaware Bay be without the Cape May Lewis Ferry? Sometimes uh, we think of it as a purely a transportation system, but really it's a part of the community's identities. Mike DiPaolo is the executive director of the Lewis Historical Society. He says over the last 50 years, the ferry has helped Lewis and Cape May take shape. I think the, the biggest story for the ferry, especially over the last 50 years, is the economic development that it's brought to both sides of the bay. The ferry began operating on July 4th, 1964. The inaugural voyage departed Lewis at 6.47 a.m. The first trip across the bay carried eight vehicles and 15 passengers. It was a monumental moment. That's because numerous attempts had been made decades prior to create a ferry. All of them failed, but Mike says there's a reason why this attempt had longevity. It was the first attempt that had the backing of both states. All the previous ones had been private attempts. And I think just having that state support on each side of the bay gave it the momentum that it needed to be successful. So it had the infrastructure in place, it had the financial part in place, and uh, it was, the time was just right. In the first year of service, the Cape May Lewis Ferry carried 161,000 vehicles and 542,000 passengers. Income during that first year came in less than expected. As a result, schedules, expenses, and fares had to be adjusted to keep operations moving forward. The system's grown uh, tremendously. It has beautiful facilities on both sides. You know, before it was really a, a transportation link, you know, so the terminals were uh, much simpler, much uh, less ornate uh, facilities than we have today. And today on both sides of the bay, you know, the terminals have become places where people gather. When ferry service started, there was a fleet of three vessels that made the trip between Cape May and Lewis. Those vessels came from Virginia and had been replaced by the arrival of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Since then, newer vessels have replaced the older ones. Currently, there is a fleet of four. This ferry here, the Twin Capes, is the flagship. It's a beautiful ride, a comfortable ride. And uh, really the shipboard amenities are great, all the programs they do, the history programs, the nature programs, there's something for everybody on board. And the trip across the Delaware Bay is relaxing. Jimmy, Lisa and I enjoyed standing on the deck, feeling the breeze and taking in the sights. You come across, it's a great, perfect time, 70 minutes or so. Uh, you get to see the lighthouses, the Cape May Light, Harbor of Refuge, East End, the breakwaters. Cape Henlopen, go across the mouth of the bay, get to see dolphins. You know, it's a perfect amount of time to be on the water for a family, the you know, attention span of young kids. You'll also notice how busy the bay is with all types of boats. It's not uncommon to see a cargo ship or oil tanker pass right in front of you. That's because this is one of the busiest shipping channels on the East Coast, as ships travel to and from Wilmington and Philadelphia. It's all part of the scenic landscape, an escape from life on land. When the ferry started in 1964, 
uh, even though it had the backing of the state and there was a lot of enthusiasm, people weren't sure if it was going to succeed or not. And I think the biggest thing that's happened, it's become the identity of these two communities. I mean, it is nationally known. And to me, that's the biggest thing that's changed, is you, you took this uh, idea that really started out of, you know, a determination on both sides to establish this service and turned into a national brand. And that really put Lewis and Cape May back on the map. In fact, the Cape May Lewis Ferry has earned the reputation as the best boat ride in America. That's what you would call a true fairy tale. Over the last 50 years, the ferries have carried more than 14 million vehicles and nearly 43 million passengers. So that's how it all got started. Now it's time to dig into all of the adventures you can take on our day trip. Still to come on Delmarva Life, the Cape May Lewis Ferry Edition. If these walls could talk, some say they do. We go on a ghost hunt here in Lewis, how you can too. And you've heard the stories about World War II battles in Europe, but did you know Sussex County played a huge role in protecting the home front? We'll learn more about Fort Miles. Plus a shipwreck of historical proportions, and you can learn about the importance it has to world history just by visiting the Zwanendil Museum here in Lewis. And once we cross the bay, the fun doesn't stop. We'll also explore all the fun on the Cape May side. Delmarva Life will be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Your local York and LG dealers and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 